Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I uploaded a new video and I feel a bit bitter about it, but this summer has been a real life roller coaster for me that made creating new videos very very hard and the ride is still not over yet. If you are following me on Instagram you might know that how stuff are going. I I currently don't have a very own room I could use as a studio. This summer I had to pack away almost all my stuff more than once and living from boxes and not having a good workplace setup has stressed me out more than it should have. And despite having a kind of calm days, my everyday work put a very hard art block on my shoulders that is hard to get over. And now it seems like I have to find a new workplace and I want to move out again to a new flat so things are getting chaotic again in the following weeks. I had almost everything ready for my webshop too but I had to postpone that either and I don't know when I will be able to start selling my stuff because the Hungarian tax system for freelancing artists is a bitch. But I'm trying my best, stepping slowly with these steps and I hope slowly but surely I will be able to sort my things out and will be able to work on this channel better. If you are interested in more work in progress steps and more art, it's better to follow me on Instagram too, I upload there more often than here. But here we are now. Thank you so much for all the feedbacks I received so far on this channel. You guys are awesome and giving me lots of ideas of what kind of videos I should create in the future. I have many ideas. First, since I received so many questions about gouache and gouache techniques, I plan to put together a quick gouache Q&A. So if you are interested in anything about gouache and how I work with it, feel free to put your questions in the comments down below. I will collect them all and use them in the Q&A video. But now for something completely different. Inktober is finally here. I have been waiting for this month since last October because I don't know how, but this month the whole artistic community just blooms. The internet is full of Halloween tips and tricks and art challenges. There's Maps Halloween challenge, there's Inktober. And think what you want about Halloween, but since you are on his channel, you probably love Halloween. I think this season brings people closer and I love watching all the beautiful artworks people put out this part of the year and and it's just purely awesome. I don't see any season or holiday bring out this much of anybody than this holiday. So good job Halloween, we all love you. If you are creating any Halloween stuff this year, feel free to send me links, I would love to check them out. Here in Hungary we don't really celebrate Halloween, it started to bloom between younger generations just for a few years now, but it's getting bigger and bigger each year, we have parties and some programs, and slowly the stores realize it too, it's not a stupid thing to import Halloween goodies, since people are searching for it. You can imagine how happy this makes me, it's really becoming my part of the year. I will be participating in Intober this year too. If you are unfamiliar with the challenge, it's a 31 days drawing challenge that was created by Jake Parker and the main task is to create an ink drawing every day in October. You should mainly use ink, of course you can color it with any medium you'd like, but I always prefer when people only use ink since it's an ink challenge and when I see people using watercolor or something to color the picture, for me this always loses the whole meaning of the challenge. But if you are interested in Mavs Halloween challenge, I will put it down in the description box below so you can check it out if you want to try it too. We will try to record all the drawings I will do, but I don't know how frequent we'll be able to upload them up. Hopefully you will be able to see all of them, but maybe some videos will come later in November. All depends on how I can sort my time out this month and how the moving and work finding will go. Might not be able to draw every day, but since last year's I always fail a challenge. I really, really, really want to complete it this time. So let's move on to the picture why you probably click on this video. Every now and then the Alice in Wonderland fever just kicks at me. It's one of my favorite stories out there, not only because the whole world what Lewis Carroll created is twisted, but it has many opportunities that a lot of people already showed us. It got reworked into movies and games. The most favorite of mine is what American Maggie created when he grabbed Alice, twisted her mind inside out and put the whole symbolistic of the story into an asylum. I just love that game, can replay it a lot of times and the art book always gives you a nice amount of inspiration. 
This picture was inspired by the white rabbit's character. He always runs around in Wonderland looking at his watch, being afraid that he will get late from somewhere. If I can good recall it, we never really find out where he's getting late from, but please correct me if I'm wrong. So in the picture he actually got late, which means I kind of killed his character, which started to decay. The background is dark since he got lost in the forest and the grass in the grass you can see many tiny things that resembles the Wonderland feeling. So yeah, it's kind of a dark interpretation of the storyline. I have more Wonderland face paintings in the works too, hope you will like them. As you could see, I started the sketch and the picture with my Bila Faber Custom watercolor pencils and then gave an underpainting to the whole picture with a burnt amber shade of watercolor. I used St. Peter's White Knights, which come in these little pens. If you are a beginner in watercolors but want to try out a more serious kind of paint, but you don't want to go to the higher ends like a Schmincke set, I can highly recommend this for you. I started using them 5 years ago in art school and I still use that very one set, I only had to replace 5 or 6 pans since that, so it's a pretty good one that lasts long. The picture itself changes a lot from the sketch to the finish, but it's all part of the creating process for me. I don't usually do studies, now did some previous sketches and one painting study for this one, but still the whole picture changed quite a bit, especially the background. It's all part of my process as I said, I like to let the painting leave me vibrant it to life. With this painting I wanted to step out more from my grey bird. In the future I want to use more colors and more backgrounds, I want to give more narratives to painting. I'm a bit proud of myself with this one, in the end it turned out better than I thought it will. And I think that's all I can say for today's video. Now I'm leaving you to enjoy the rest of it, hope you are liking it. Still have to improve my voiceover skills, can only hope I can sound less dumb in my videos than I think I do. Hope you enjoyed it, please put your comments down below if you have any, I'm always trying to answer the best I can. Let's hope we will see each other more frequently now that I'm starting the challenges. See you all next time, bye!